So as we walk by, there's one of those floating pools, right? So I look, I walk past it, and then I look, and then I realize there is a world. Hmm. So I look deep inside, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's a world in there. Yeah. I even got my finger and kind of tapped it to see. I got, like, waves of water. But it wasn't a whole world in there. I was like, oh my gosh, he wasn't lying. Yeah. And you then ever see, he um, carried on. You ever see how um, sometimes if people take videos of the stars, right? Or, mm -hmm. and then you could some, sometimes see a hand covering the stars, right? No. Beans from the other side, similar to what you just did. So you see, you touch oh. inside the firmament, right? Because of water. Water's there, water's above our firmaments, right? Okay. And beings that walk on the other side, sometimes if you film, sometimes you could, you know, you get, you could see certain physical features, like a hand, a face, right? So. Yeah. No, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, Especially sometimes you can see like yeah. the, the projection of something that looks like something on something. But yeah, I literally touched, which I mm. probably shouldn't have, but I was like, no way. Like mm. still with my personality, my consciousness, like no way. And I looked and I saw a whole like trees, you name it, like everything was yeah. in there. And I was like, no way. So I touched it and it puddled like this, but I could feel that there was a different atmosphere inside. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we, we, he was like, let's go. And then we kept going and I don't have access to the rest of that memory. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So that was the time that I, um, accessed the construct, like the most successfully since then I haven't really been able to do it. Um, what I've been doing now is sort of like accessing like past lives, or like things that are happening right now and I just need understanding for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, three, three months of practice and then achieving it on the second, second month, which is well, what you wrote here. I mean, that's, it's, it's just going to take one. There's not a lot of stress in your life, just practicing it, shutting down the body, popping out again, but the construct and stuff, you're talking about a uh, taking pictures. The only thing I could, um, symbolize that as is, uh, some, some part of your consciousness is trying to remember of that what you're seeing and so you're trying to take mm -hmm. the worldly items of the earthly world to there so that you could bring it back within the physical body you know because it's just yeah ju just another form really of capturing information yeah. but yeah you're you're seeing all of the firmaments all of the constructs the many different worlds that are still out there because it's it, yeah. they're all pretty much the same. I mean, the construct that we're in now has a firmament, waters above. Same with every other. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all very and yeah. And when you're there too, you could tap into these other places and actually what you just did, view them and see them, trees, environments, everything. Different experience. Yeah. Different game. You could absolutely. Um, yeah. Different game. There was actually one I was in one of these worlds, and interestingly enough, their ocean is in the sky or their sea is in the sky, from where we were at least. So there's parts of it you you have to climb quite far up, mm. but once you get there, similar to how we have clouds because it's just water kind of in smaller particles, if you will. They have whole seas and dense pools of water above them. I freaked out because my mind's thinking it's gonna cave in on you, like go uh, now right uh, we have an entire water above us right now well, that's the firmament thing it's yeah. not gonna cave i mean <laughs> yeah i yeah. mean yeah literally see, it's seeing that without the clouds and anything else just seeing it hmm. as a huge ex body of water right above your head hmm. but what's even trippier is like you are the same you across the whole place when I visited outside of the construct, I was still uh, female, but I didn't look like what I do now. I have similar features, but just a little bit different. Perfection. I guess, like you said, like a slightly perfected version of mm. me. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I was so surprised that I still think the same <laughs> or I still have the same uh, humor and I still have the same response, you know, and I get, you know, your consciousness is, is evolving. Mm. So I'm sure like as I change, it changes too, right? Yeah. Um, which is but your soul who you so are interesting now, does, to see uh, uh, yeah it, it does not change that's the thing yeah that's the thing that's the thing that people feel 
that they need to get rid of their ego or some sort of self-expression when literally who you are, your thought process is what you do at this very moment. If you were to die right now, you would be the exact same. The only thing that would change is that you would have more memories of the past lives of that, which, which contributed to your expression to that very moment here and now. Absolutely. I actually even had a remembering of when I was a star. I mean, I know we all technically are still, but when I was just in that space of just floating around mm. and I was like, oh, let me go see this nebula. Oh, let me go. And I, it was so weird that I still thought the same. Every single time mm. I go to these places, I'm still the same me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been a trip.